Hi guys, this video is about the test for sulfate ions. So let's have a look at the experiment first and then crack on with the equations. So here is my sample which contains some sulfate ions. The first thing that I'm going to do when I'm testing is I'm going to add some dilute hydrochloric acid. Now the reason that we do this is to remove impurities. This means that if there's any carbonate or anything else in there that I don't want to be, then it will react with the acid and won't react with the reagent that tests for the sulfate ions. So the actual test itself involves testing sulfate ions using barium ions and normally we use barium chloride as our reagent. So let's watch what happens when I add the barium chloride to my sulfate ions. So, hopefully what you can see is this is giving me a nice bright white precipitate and that indicates the presence of sulfate ions. Let's have a look at the equations to really show what's happening when I test for those sulfate ions. Remember a sulfate is SO4 2 minus and for the sake of it today I'm going to pretend that the sample that I was using for was magnesium sulfate. In reality it could be any sulfate, it doesn't really matter. When it reacts with the barium chloride what you get is you get a double substitution happening and this results in you making magnesium chloride and barium sulfate. Now remember if you're trying to work out which of the products is the one that's the precipitate it's always the one that contains the ion that you're actually testing for. So in this case I'm testing for a sulfate so therefore the white precipitate, the solid product, has to be the barium sulfate. If I was to just write this out as an ionic equation, the ions that are really reacting are just the sulfate ion with the barium 2 plus ion to give that barium sulfate solid. And that is all for the test for the sulfate ion using barium chloride.